Hey, what's going on guys? It's Stu. I got a really fun one for you today. The surprise secret strategy 100 maps on the colonnade for the third time going back to the colonnade. We'll explain why that is in a minute here. Uh, I got to tell a little story to you and that has everything to do with map sustain. You see, early on in this league, I figured out very quickly that I liked 8 mod corrupted maps, whether it was for divination card farming or god touch farming. It sure seemed like 8 mod corrupted maps was the way to go. Wandering path, potentially the way to go in conjunction with that. And early on in the league, the 8 mod corrupted sextant, which is this one right here, was relatively cheap. In fact, it was extraordinarily cheap early on. Like, I remember buying it for 20, 30 chaos, you know, in the first few weeks of the league. Didn't realize how fortunate I was <laughs> to get it at that price. Uh, that thing shot to the moon shortly thereafter. Kept going up, 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 up. Finally it crested at around 100 chaos a piece and indeed that is what uh, I paid and have been paying for this sextant by and large. Uh, about 100 chaos a piece. Uh, you would think maybe that wouldn't be worth it, right? Because you're just getting your guaranteed map drop for 8 mod corrupted did map. Uh, it doesn't even come with quality, usually. Uh, no quality. So it can, but usually not. And, you know, why wouldn't you just uh, roll your own maps in that case? Well, I, I did supplement a lot of my maps with my own rolled maps. Just came out with a video how I was rolling maps. And I also just came out with a video uh, at the time of this recording on how I have been secretly farming 8 mod corrupted maps now because uh, there is a bit of a change. Uh, that is going on and it has some pretty serious ramifications uh, for how I'm going to be moving forward with Jungle Valley Farms and, and of course how I'm going to be price pointing uh, things the investment costs of the map because that's just the thing I haven't really given maps uh, a whole lot of serious consideration when it comes to how I price the maps I just go ahead and let excellence count it at five chaos a piece or whatever seemed totally fine and I think it was totally fine uh, whenever I was self-sustaining them with my own eight mod corrupted sextant inside uh, a given strategy but now uh, we're moving up to the big leagues we're going into a sort of two-pronged strategy that's what I've been doing uh, lately uh, my, my how should I say my preferred jungle valley strategy just keeps getting faster and faster and faster more speed farming oriented lower investment just seems to be the way to go there uh, as a result it becomes harder and harder to justify incorporating eight mod corrupted sexton into such a low investment strategy that doesn't have very many league mechanics on any given map so uh, I am now looking for a creative way uh, to acquire a metric ton of eight mod corrupted maps and with a totally different strategy that also doesn't waste my time in terms of uh, the currency gain. Of course, I still want to be earning lots of currency in the process. So insert a wandering path strategy with strong box. Wandering path, of course, is very good for strong box. I think it is the best. And I'm going to be repeating a few things that I said in the recent video uh, that I released. So apologies for that. But uh, yeah, this is the tree that I am now using. And uh, this is a tree I want to run 100 maps with. I, I, I have not tested and I've not done a major long term currency earning test on this strategy. So definitely something I'm looking forward to. It's going to be way more consistent than uh, some of my other God Touch strategies. Uh, we're not we're not looking for apothecary drops. We're not looking for that crazy twenty divine orb explosion. We're just farming patience consistently, and we're farming eight mod corrupted maps consistently, and some league specific rewards, uh, like uh, America emblems, for example. Uh, this should work out pretty well, I, I think. Uh, I'm taking every single map drop duplication node here. Uh, I'm taking all of the higher map tier chance. For those of you who aren't familiar with the power of this uh, particular node, uh, basically, at any given map, you're gonna drop. A wide variety of different map tiers you won't even see them if they're under t16 and you have four void zones already instead uh the map gets recycled back into the system gives you a forgiveness rating of some kind don't ask me what percent forgiveness or whatever i have no idea what the actual calculation is uh but uh rest assured uh, the more of these nodes you have the more quickly and more frequently you're going to get t16 maps to drop with four void stone. Of course, singular focus is going to be very important because I want to target uh, the specific eight mod corrupted maps I want to drop. Now, why can't I just, you know, use the marketplace 
to purchase and sell these? Well, basically because it doesn't exist. I suspect someday, maybe in the relatively near future, it will start existing. But I even asked around on TFT. I asked the right people uh, where I might go about buying and selling bulk 8 mod corrupted Jungle Valley maps. And they're all kind of like, I don't know, like, <laughs> not really a thing. That's not really a thing. Uh, people tend to just buy and sell. Um, you know, conquer influence map, elder influence map for the fr for their associated fragments, or clean, uncorrupted maps, and that's just kind of what the market is. Uh, so you have to do it yourself if you want to consistently farm up a mod corrupted maps, and that's my gift to you: is I'm giving you a strategy that's going to be simultaneously lucrative as well as get you loads of eight mod corrupted maps so you don't have to spend a lot of time farming the maps you just get it out of the way do do a bunch of these maps like this and then you can spend a great deal of time doing whatever it is you want to do uh farming god touch rares in my case speed farming jungle valley more or less so uh we got all the legion here we got the eldritch Nodes, of course, who've taken the wandering path, are going to get a lot of Eldritch nodes, even without Shadow of Hunger, because it's a pack size, it's just going to be so big. We're going to get some raw emblems from Legion. We're going to get, I even put a couple points in Cartographer Strongbox chance, you know, just the off chance. A few points here in Tormented chance, as well as uh, Tormented Monster item quantity. There will be some Possessed Monsters and Touched Monsters, potentially. Might get a few extra Patient cards that way. God Touched Monsters at Spawn primarily from Legion, are not going to be dropping crazy stuff. I'm just going to get two, three, maybe four Divine Orbs Explosions. I might see a few of them in 100 map, but that's where the consistency is. It's going to be an 8 mod uh, Corrupted Map drops, as well as Patient Cards. And uh, the, the giant question, the big question of this video is going to be how many 8 mod Corrupted Maps am I going to get uh, doing 100 of these maps? On average, how many maps will I find in one map run through? And that is the big question, uh, because... The sextant in question here does cost 100 chaos, which means to run 100 maps, I need 25 of these sextants, and that's 2,500 chaos is what I'm investing in here. 2,500 chaos in this sextant is being invested in this 100 map farm. So, if, for example, I were to find, let's say, 250 maps, that means that each map is effectively worth 10 chaos. Uh, respective to the cost of this sextant, current cost. Now, I understand the sextant may go up in value. Uh, it has a tendency to do that whenever I come up with a video, and this one especially does have the proclivity to do that because it has a very low weighting. There's not a huge supply of this sextant, but there's also not a very big demand of it as well. Uh, but let's say I find, I don't know, 500 maps. Well, then the price point would just be 5 chaos per map. So I've been mulling it over, trying to figure out how I want to move forward with uh, calculating investment costs and, you know, all that. Uh, s up to this point, I've just let excellence calculate it in. Whether I'm doing Jungle Valley or, or whatever. E even if I'm self-sustaining 8 mod corrupted or not. Uh, so I think I'm going to continue doing that. Uh, but I'm also going to add... Some inherent value to the maps depending on how many of these I get. So if I get 250, then from here on forth, whenever I run Jungle Valley, for example, with eight mod corrupted maps, I'm going to count each of those maps at 10 chaos apiece. If I get 500 in this test, I'm just going to let excellence basically count it. I don't really know exactly what the number is going to be. Uh, I certainly won't make them count any less than five chaos per map, whatever the default is. Uh, so that may come up to a bit of a shock uh, to some of you guys. The 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 notion that an 8 mod corrupted map with random mods, a map of your specific tile set you want, could actually be worth only 5 chaos, but it does appear that might actually be the case uh, in the end, uh, because this strategy is that good <laughs> with uh, farming currency. So, I think I can justify uh, saying that if indeed I do get at least 500 uh, maps back, and at the same time, I make good currency in the process. Of course, if I make bad if i don't make good currency or if i even lose currency in the process of this farm then everything kind of goes out the window right because then you know it's it's kind of like i'm paying a price an extra price in terms of time uh, to do the strategy so my goal is to get at least 500 uh, maps in back and to still make i don't know at least 10 divines an hour we'll say hopefully that Hopefully we can do that. So uh, that is where we're starting at here. We're going to be running a Gilded Legion Scarab because I want to. I do actually want to spawn the bosses. The bosses can drop maps, uh, as well as uh, the War Hordes. It's important to have that. The chest. This is a chest league. It's one of the reasons these two mechanics are so great 
for eight mod corrupted maps legion athletic chest strong box is a chest and they can drop a lot of uh maps the 500 percent quantifier item uh, quantity multiplier rather from the strong box also not just drops a lot of extra divination cards but also drops a lot of extra maps as well from magic or rare monsters to happen to spawn inside gilded ambush scarab gilded divination scarab for the patient cards and dragon heart and then gilded cartographer scarab now a variation of this strategy could be to run a gilded reliquary scarab instead wouldn't be a bad idea uh, but in this case for this particular farm i'm more interested in seeing just how many maps i can pull out so i'm going to go ahead and go with a gilded cartographer scarab uh, I did have to throw a few extra chaos in uh, to cover the cost, especially the Gilded Cartographer Scarab is, is a bit undervalued in terms of bulk. I had to pay about 8 chaos a piece in bulk for these, and that may go up, in fact. But everything else was pretty reasonable. Uh, three extra Divine Orbs were devoted to bulk pricing issues with the uh, Gilded Scarabs. Uh, as far as the Sexons, plus one Legion, priced at 80 chaos a piece. It's actually higher than I paid for it. Uh, strong box, two strong boxes, corrupt and rare at 10 chaos apiece, also higher than I paid for it. Uh, 500% increased item quantity, 90 chaos apiece, higher than I paid for it. Uh, surprisingly, uh, that one has actually dropped down in value a little bit. I guess people have uh, fallen out of favor of divination card. Strong box farming lately. And then eight mod corrupted sextants, 100 chaos apiece, which is what everybody's been paying for it this entire past like month straight. Uh, and yeah, I mean, everyone will tell you. This is about 100 chaos apiece uh, at max. And I bought it for, I bought 100 of these for 100 chaos apiece off of a TFT flipper. So I know that I paid the maximum standard price uh, for the sexton at the time. Uh, and so that's how that I arrived at 40 divine orbs extra. 50 maps are in here to start with. Uh, I will actually be self sustaining colonnade, hopefully, with two of these favorited over, uh, 10 others favorited to Jungle Valley. So. My mana is gone. That is where we're at. And that's our starting point. I think we can go ahead and... Uh, oh, of course. Can't forget to do this. Right. We need to double check the amount. 11,400. Well, that's a nice round number. And there it is. All, right, for all, all of it's right here. Take this divided by 200 because Divine Orbs is still with 200. And I guess it went up by 0.09. <laughs> a starting investment cost of 57 Divine Orbs. That's kind of a lot. Kind of a lot. I mean, this Gilded Divination Scarabs is still worth a fair bit. Uh, but uh, the, again, the, the strong box divination strategy, the investment cost for those materials has gone down a bit over time. A little bit surprising. If you have any questions, you can uh, ask it. In the comment section below, I'm really happy to be able to, to, to deliver this strategy for you guys. Uh, it's been a real game changer for me uh, in this sort of conundrum on how to go about get uh, gathering my 8 mod corrupted maps for the farm I really want to do. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to start with this whopper of a map here. 47% pack size. Quite a dangerous map. Uh, but I have a pretty dangerous character, so I think uh, it's going to be fine. Now, I could run Legion or I could run Ambush. Uh, but I think I will, I'm going to stick with Ambush here. For one thing, it's a little cheaper. And uh, especially with the Gilded Cartographer uh, not going Gilded Reliquary, this is going to be primarily an 8-mod Corrupted Farming uh, map acquiring strategy, first, first and foremost. Secondly, it's going to be a patient farming strategy. And thirdly, it's going to be Legion-oriented stuff, whether it's God Touched or um, Emblems. I could run a master mission, but no, I'm not going to do that. Uh, we're just going to run it like this. Eater of Worlds influence. Well, guys, hope you enjoy map number one. Let's see what kind of results I got, or I'm going to get. I will have gotten, I guess, would be the best tense to use here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the boss room. Immediately, I'm going to kill a few things because I do want to be able to kill that boss quickly. going to have to uh, get a few headhunter buffs. Hopefully not spawn too many altars out of place. There's a legion. I'm not running a. I'm not running beyond. Not running a deli mirror in this case. Deli mirror is usually not going to spawn. I, I'm not even blocking stuff because it's the wandering path strategy. So it's you know fairly easy going compared to some of my strategies anyway. Uh, let's see here. I think I'll go for raw divination card drops uh, because this is not a god touch farming strategy. 
When I come down here, I swing down here on the bottom and I'll go back to the beginning of the map. This is where I'll start uh, opening strong boxes. I go ahead and kind of get everything out of the way on the bottom side. That's what I tend to do. Here's a really good one. Map dropped by slain enemies. 28% chance to be doubled. That basically doubles the effectiveness of uh, some of that duplication map mods here. But I think it actually stacks so I could see four maps stack on top of each other. Potentially. We already got one patient card. Probably going to see on average... Mm, honestly, it's probably going to be a little less than one patient card per map on average, I think. A little less. But not too bad. Oh, wow. Red stars galore. All right, another patient card, a, a duplicated map drop. There, it's already sitting pretty nice. Again, hoping to see at least 500 maps and 100 maps. That means uh, baseline, I want to see on average five maps per map ran. And they're going to come from these Legion chests. They're going to come from inside the strong boxes. They're going to come from the strong box monsters. They're going to come from the Legion bosses. They're going to come from the Legion rares like that. Those two just did. Uh, they're going to. It's just really nice. I was running this with Essence and or not Essence. Sorry, um, Abyss. You know how Abyss is. It just takes so dang long to do it. And Abyss is still kind of garbage with its drops. I mean, the rare the rare Abyss monsters certainly can drop the maps. Legion is just so much better and easier to go, and that's why we're on the Colonnade and not, say, uh, Defile Cathedral would be all right with this, I guess. Um, I kind of want to see the consistent results, so I, I don't want to rely crazy on uh, RNG right now. Okay, second Legion coming up, and this map's almost done already. I think I already got, what did I get, four maps? Yeah, sitting on four maps right now. Hopefully maybe get one more out of this Legion. Or maybe a god touch there. <laughs> uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I had to unlock this one down here. Really like to see a map come out of one of these chests just to prove what I'm saying here. That, that, that would be great. Well, or not. Whoa, there's the Templar boss doing his usual shenanigans. So I believe that's about it. Uh, it'll take me a little while to get used to doing this map again. I've, it's been a while. Okay, now that's, uh, yeah, that that's, that is that is what I want to see. I'm not really sure how three maps dropped at once, <laughs> but I was expecting either two or four. Uh, but anyway, oh, there's another strong box. It can be kind of hard to, like, not miss any strong boxes. Look at this. Yeah, it's going to take me a little while to get used to uh, clearing this map properly again. Uh, okay. Well, there you go. You got to see a pretty nice showcase. You can see, you know, it obviously you could get a bad streak of RNG and maybe not really see potentially even one map in a given map. But, I mean, usually I'm seeing at least five maps per map. And this is pretty normal uh, results, I think. Overall, two patient cards is kind of lucky out. Uh, I, honestly, I don't even know if this is lucky uh, for one map. I feel like I, I'm pretty sure two patients can be lucky for this. Uh, but who knows? We'll see. Let's find out in the end. Find out together. My mana is gone. I can't remember the last time I saw an Impulsa. That thing is crazy rare. LOL. God touched rare. That was our first God touched rare. <laughs> it was half split and then garbage anyway, so it was uh, currency and jewelry. LOL, it's uh, it looks like it was a Shikari touched. No divine orb, not even an exalted orb. It's pretty funny. A map and a patient. Out of every strong box, please. Just like that. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. How did I have that map where I didn't get a single one? Oh my god. I had a dragon's heart. Oh, this is like the warm up to the test run now. This map. Basically, especially if I get one more dragon heart. <laughs> Or even another just patient, since they're the same value, I guess. 
Uh, so maybe when I kill four boss already, but the invitation doesn't fall, how do I get it? Oh, you don't get it. You just buy it. You don't. You don't automatically get it. Oh my god, three patients and one dragon heart, one map. Hello. Get at me. Get at me. Let's get a god touch rare while we're at it. <laughs> uh, he can't keep getting away with it. Last strong box. Hey! Four patients. Four patients, one dragon heart. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Oh well. Moving on. Ah, Dead League's dead. I usually have 200 viewers right now. Must be Dead League. Actually, I don't. Not, not at this time. This is like time of the day. It's no Nobody can view. Normally. The monster had five. Twenty-five percent chance to duplicate the monsters. Oh, I was gonna check uh, the harvest stuff, the values of it. That's right. Okay, well. I wish they'd make it so you can unlock all the harvest stuff at the same time. Then it would actually do it. Like, why can't we call the plants all at the same time? I think that would be fair. Yes. Yes. That is what I wanted right there. This is the shit I'm playing for right here. Oh. Ah, oh, it's so good. Oh. Six, eight mod corrupted maps in the same screen. Two more. Right there. Hallelujah, that is nice. That is so nice. Wow. Wow, it's going to be so many maps. You guys got to get in on this. This shit's great. Oh! So many! I'm gonna have record breaking map count on this map. If only I got like. <laughs> Jeez! What the hell? We're up to like 12 maps. Dang, just starting the Legion. Is this a Beyond map? Oh, this is a Beyond map. What? Do Beyond monsters drop the maps too? I like how I just tanked that shit. Oh, 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 so many maps. So many. I've, I've like, I can't even count how many. I've actually lost count. I have no idea how many maps I have now. <laughs> Bruh. Yo, this is so good. Strat's so good. I'm actually not getting any maps from Legions right now. This is weird. I don't think I've got a single map from the source of Legion. I don't know what to make of that, but... Oh my god. My mana is gone. This is so much fun. It's like a little bit different. Sorry, I left. Now I'm back. So if we're gonna answer build suggestions. Look at all this loot, guys. So much loot. 
two awakened sections, 211 rogue markers. That's a lot of loot. Or I could just open a strong box and get actual loot. That, that that right there, that that five second window of time just completely says everything about the state of blight versus strong box value. Was your first upgrade to build a hit build a headhunter? Um, I didn't build one, but that was my first major upgrade. I did actually go for headhunter before omniscience and all. <laughs> okay, uh, before. I Omniscience. Okay. Uh, diviners and Arcana strong boxes, ladies and gentlemen. They're a thing. <laughs> Streamer client engaged. I just want maps. I don't care about any of that other stuff. I mean, I do want I do want other things to drop because I want to verify this is a still a lucrative strat. It's gonna feel bad if it's not. Kind of bad. Yeah, it seems to be a pretty lucrative strat. I don't know. I'd say it's uh, pretty lucrative. It's pretty good. Not bad. Now I just need a god touch to drop me like six divines right now at the end of this map. And then my life will be complete. Oh, here it comes. I got a legion. You guys ready for the six divine no reliquary scarab god touch loot? Here it comes. Here it comes. Six divine orbs. Like would be 20 divine orbs if I actually played it right. Oh, there's a monster still alive. He's extra strong. Extra beefy. But I did open it. I did open it. There he is. Oh, I saw a magma berry. I thought it might have been it. <laughs> uh, the magma berries do have a tendency to be god touched, but oh, well. what? No, not a. Nah, oh, man. Unlucky. God. I mean, I'm pretty unlucky. Wait, how good was that? Winter. I only got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 maps. This way, exile. Hold on, I'm going to try to get lucky with this harvest. Maps by slain member. My enemies have an 18% chance to be duplicated. Which means they have about a 7% chance to be quadruplicated. Quadruplicated? Is that a word? Quadruplicated. That probably is an actual word. I think it should be. I mean, I'm an English teacher, and if I follow the phonetic pattern, that should be quadruplicated. Why would it be quadrupled? It's duplicated. Triplicated, quadruplicated, quintiplicated. Obviously, that's those are the right words. Because if if it wasn't, if it wasn't, then duplicated would just be double. Oh wait. Well, that's weird. Double, I just got double duplicated patient cards. Actually, they were two separate drops. Uh, it's just, you know, less so, I guess. Oh, we got a God Touch Currency! Oh, 
Oh my god, four divine! Bro, that's like 20 divines in real money. If I was really hunting these, it'd be like 20 divines. Zero reliquary scarab. Four divines. Some people who haven't used reliquary scarabs have never even seen that many divines off one monster. Bro, whoa, whoa. 16 chaos, too. That's weird. I just got paid. Solaris touched my friend. Sale point of everything is, and they just like, Arr. there's nothing. On bulk max, one TFT, lots of people looking to buy 10C each. Looking to buy to There's no way. There's no way I'm I'm beating this screenshot. There's no way. That is a hundred and ten percent the fucking screenshot, dude. What? <laughs> Where I'm gonna get this right. Eh. Right there, yeah, because you don't know if it goes down low. <laughs> what the hell is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What is even the rip? Why? Why are those boots there? Why is there a god touch where it happened to drop an eight map and even the tunnels? With what? Bro, I don't want to move. I don't want to move from this. It's too precious. Seven divines. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 here. <laughs> I'll make this a screenshot. I don't know. Uh, that's a lot of... That is... I definitely cranked up the quantity. I'm on that. Oh, my God. Dude, this would be, like, extremely... This would be very screenshot worthy if the God Touch loot wasn't there. Like, if the Seven Divines and everything wasn't there. This would be very screenshot worthy if none of the maps were there. Or if the boots weren't there. I could remove half of this loot and it would be like the most screenshot worthy shot of the entire thing. That's from bonkers. It looks like I planted this. I, people are going to see this thumbnail and think that I planted this for sure. For sure they're going to think I planted this. So, I mean, obviously, I'm there's going to be a yet. highlight reel of that anyway, but uh, literally what I do. My English is not good. is what I do for a living. Probably that my primary cause of death, actually. If I'm farming Legion, my primary cause of death is the Templar boss after he's already died. <laughs> Especially after he's already died. A can save a tree. Yep. Pretty much. I'm not up to that just yet. Void. Void. Hey, Snoo, recent content enjoyer. Just rolling essentially your league start. Soul Thirst Spring, do you think it can handle 8 mod maps on Colin? Yeah, I mean, the, the build can handle 8 mod corrupted maps, but I mean, it kind of depends on. I don't think it's very good for wandering path 8 mod corrupted. Uh, if you're trying to squeeze in magic fine and do that all at the same time, I think you're going to have a hard time. Even if you're really good. Like really good at the game. Oh! What? What pretty the side? These maps. One, two, three, four, five. Almost as exciting as an apothecary drop. You see stuff like that come out.
What's a problem to be able to kill a boss like instantly full geared? Except oh my god, what's that beam? I know what that beam is. I know what that beam is. <laughs> oh shit, gotta get my flask working. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't fucking fail me. Da, 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 da. No, there it is. And my flask was on at the time. Good loot. Four divines with no reliquary scarab. I will take that every time. <laughs> so many maps. So many maps. I'm actually ahead of schedule. I'm getting more god touch than I was expecting at this point. Yeah, oh, I you you one. saw the. Uh, I didn't even. I forgot to ch even check the patient count. <laughs> Oh wow, duplicated Nemesis map. Oh my god, 44% pack size. So juiced. So <laughs> this strong bot keeps reopening. <laughs> Cartographer, baby. <laughs> Let's go. It took me a second to realize there was a cartographer that kept reopening like three or four times in a row. Oh, that's so fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's so fun, man. I like it's such a smile on my face. That that kind of thing. It's such a small thing in the grand scheme of things, but it's so cool. Happening right then, right there. Yeah, but like. How reliable is it going to be to find a buyer? Solaris touched right here in this map. It's already unlocked. And I'm gonna I get one more altar. Oh my god, I got I got massive 261 over 240. Solaris touch coming up. There she is right here somewhere. Fuck, I died. Damn it. Oh, crap. I still have a legion up. It's fine. I think I still... Yeah, okay. I still have a legion. God, it's like connected to the Solaris touch, though. I just want to make sure my uh, flask is running. That's all. There it is. All right, six divines. Nice. Super, super happy with that. I'm just hoping for like four divines or more. I mean, it's not surprising that you would drop six divines, given how crazy high the uh, quantity. I've hit like four quantity rarity altars on this map already. So yeah, there's even seven exalts too. That probably would have been a record-breaking one. I, I, it could have very easily been, especially if it would. If I had had any duplication alters. Oh well. My mana is gone. Man, I keep buying... Like, literally, every ten maps. Or more. Am I finding a currency god text? Does nobody else get that? I, I still... I, I'm running into all kinds of it, including people in my chat, live chat, saying, you know, can't believe how often you're finding currency god text. It's like one every ten maps. It doesn't seem to matter what kind of juice I put, whether it's... Low juice or high juice, like 1 in 10 maps. Which is part of the reason why I like lower juice, I guess. I don't have anything against the game, just... Oh, we got some scarabs coming. Hmm. A four wing scarabs with no reliquary scarab. I'll take that. It's been a really long time since I saw Innocence touched, actually. They're all terrible wing scarabs, too. I was like, I refused to do my own homework when I was given like a grand total of 10 minutes of homework. A day. I, I still refuse to do it in most cases. I was like, I don't want to do this. I want to go online and play video games. I want to play. 
these kids are lucky if they get 10 minutes of free time in the day. I'm over here like, I'm playing video games for five hours a day on a school day. They're doing homework for five hours a day on a school day. It's like the complete opposite. Wow, this loot. Too much loot. I'm just gonna keep ranting. IRL rant. It's feeding me loot. <laughs> I I get these poor school kids. They're like, so I'm like, what what are you doing after school? What do you do for fun? They they like don't even have an answer. The the closest answer I get is club activity, whatever, which is still a school function, school sanctioned activity, something they're they're technically mandated to do like if you sign up for a club activity you're mandated to be there what hmm you know what time it is it's time for the results and this is a very interesting looking dump tab situation isn't it it's a whole lot of maps Woo! It's a lot of map maybe one day you know we'll be able to stack them up and it won't be so uh awkward <laughs> To handle. Uh, looking forward to sharing with you how many maps there are. Of course, we're only going to count um, eight mod corrupted jungle valleys and eight mod corrupted colonnades for self-sustain. Those would be the ones we're counting. Those are the real maps in question. I did actually find a tiny, a couple other eight mod corrupted maps off of the, you know, the boss. If it dropped like an, uh, an influence map, or in some cases like the God touched map drops. Were a few out of, but but very very few exceptions. Uh, virtually all of them, Jungle Valley or uh, Colonnade maps. Of course, you know we got a lot of divination cards. We got a lot of uh, league specific loot right here in my inventory. I was able to pull out eleven full sets of Legion emblems. Those will be calculated at 0.5 divine orbs a piece, which is quite conservative right now. They're selling for 0.5 or 0.6 is the price point there. Um, let's see, we also have, of course, patient cards. we got to figure that out. So, I think I should just take you straight down into the dump tab. Here it is, one last snapshot. Everything should be up to date. Uh, you can see there's all the chaos in here. Uh, as you can see, 34 divine orbs. I'd say that was definitely projected above average uh, for this farm. I'm not running a single reliquary scarab. I do have quite a bit of magic find gear on. Obviously, there was a ton of magic find stats connected to the maps themselves. But 34 divines is pretty high. Uh, I, I think I got a bit lucky with the God Touch loot. Actually, on the back half of this farm, I didn't get a single currency God Touch in the last 40 maps straight. Uh, but I did get them pretty reliably in the first 60 maps. So... That's how that shaped up. Look at this. I did not expect to see, um, after having given it some more thought, I didn't expect to see more than one patient card uh, per map because I'm, I already ran Wandering Path Colonnade and found slightly less than uh, one patient card per map with Delirium Mirrors, <laughs> by the way, which should have resulted in more loot. But uh, for some reason, 103 right there. 103 patient. Nice. 677 jungle valley maps and then we can see all the way down here we got colonnades here on the bottom of my list let's uh, let's just go ahead and quite uh, real quickly see this is going to be one of the big points on the thumbnail i know uh, because this was essentially the most important piece of information that i was going to get uh, we also have to add 50 because i already ran 50 of the colony maps that i uh, found i i started with a selection of 50 maps and then I self-sustained the remaining 50 with ones I found. So that means between Jungle Valley and Colonnade I found a grand total of 769 8 mod corrupted maps. I did say I was kind of hoping for 8 or more uh, at a certain point later on but uh, yeah I was able to identify fairly early on that it was probably going to be uh, at least 7 maps found per map ran. There it is. Do 100 maps, get 769 maps back. And that's a lot of value. Uh, let's quickly uh, talk about how I'm going to handle the value price points for these. Because I could obviously count these as more than uh, what it says here. 4.27 chaos per map. Right? You would think so. 
because I'm target farming these. And if I tried to, if, if I just bought 677 Jungle Valley maps and I wanted to have 8 mod corrupted Jungle Valley maps, I cannot, first of all, I can't successfully double corrupt 677 out of 677. And second of all, even if I could, it would cost me chisels, alchemy orbs, val orbs, and everything, right? So in that sense, uh, you would think that they'd be worth way more than 4.27. But uh, in the end, I did say that uh, I would take essentially the cost of the sextant divided by the amount of maps that dropped. And, uh, well, long story short, that meant if I found over 500 8 mod corrupted maps, especially well over 500 8 mod mod corrupted map then that means their value price point is basically the same as they are in default and then i wouldn't make it go lower than the default so that's how we're going to move forward with this my justification for doing that is basically threefold or more uh a when people buy and sell maps for real they typically want uncorrupted clean maps so not in not in every case but as you guys know that's kind of how the market treats uh, map bulk selling and buying both selling and buying uh b there doesn't really seem to be hardly any market for a mod corrupted map buying and selling people just tend to do it themselves uh, i was able to identify a few trade requests on tft in the right place but my gosh i mean they were rare we're talking like a couple trades a day maybe uh so i don't know of any other place uh that these sorts of trades can reliably happen uh, that's another major reason why uh, I'm not skewing the value one way or another. Uh, and three, these are 8 mod corrupted unquality maps. So they are not actually technically the highest premium quality 8 mod corrupted maps because they were not chiseled and then uh, first and then 8 mod corrupted. So in that sense, they are a little bit less valuable uh, for that reason. So for those three reasons, mainly... Uh, I'm just going to count these maps. I'm just going to allow, for the rest of this league, I'm just going to allow these maps to always be counted as their default value. I know now that I can run this strategy and accumulate loads of these maps. And then, you know, I, I got, what, I got si over six separate 100 map farming sessions worth of jungle valleys to farm now. And it was easy. It was easy to, to accumulate all these maps. Very consistent strategy. Doesn't rely on magic find. You can do it too. And again, I said it, mentioned it before. It's my gift to you. So I don't think it's a big deal, really. I could see some people later on thinking it's a big deal. You know, when I talk about the investment cost of my Jungle Valley strategies and not counting the 8 mod corrupted maps worth more than their default value. But I don't really see a reason to do that now because I'm now focused on a two-pronged strategy, basically. That's my justification. Uh, okay, so I had to get that out of the way. Let's, uh, let's see here. What else do we have? We got an Awakened Sextant. I feel like I got more of those than usual. Uh, definitely the Altars probably had something to do with that. Uh, you can see I got more Exalted Orbs and Divine Orbs, so actually got a little bit unlucky with that this time. I did get one very high value Divination card, uh, the, uh, Shield Bearer. It's the Squire Divination card, that's what that is. You can see it's worth, uh, three and a half Exalts. Uh, there are still numerous emblems left in here. My mana is gone. You know, we'll, we'll just double check this one last time. I, th I think this is actually, uh, I think this is perfectly up to date. But for one final du double checking here. Let's make sure. Yeah, okay. So even after pulling 11 whole sets, still there. 22 Templar emblems, tw uh, 11 Mariketh emblems. Still have a bunch of those left over. I have more Mariketh and Templar emblems than any other emblem, and it's because of the double the increased chance to spawn Mariketh and Templar. I get tons of Templar emblems this way. Uh, a bunch of stacked decks. We'll tr uh, hopefully remember to do that as part of the gambling. Of course, there will be a gambling session later. And then here, we'll just kind of scroll through here and let uh, anybody and anyone take a screenshot. There was one Innocence Touch that did give me a few Winged Scarabs. I believe it was, if I'm not mistaken, seven currency god touched and there's seven or eight, seven currency god touched and one scarab god touched in a hundred maps. Uh, no, again, no reliquary scarab, but I did get somewhere around 30 
close to th almost 30 raw divine orbs from currency god touch with no scarab so that will be an interesting takeaway on the final thoughts uh the decision to use a cartographers versus uh that uh, oh good now it counts tainted chaos orbs <laughs> This program is so weird. Uh, last time I did this, it failed to count Tainted Chaos Orbs. In excellence. Oh, okay. okay, so let's see here. We got everything here. I am going to be adding two and a half Divine Orbs for an Enlighten and Empower support that, for some reason, is not showing up in excellence. Here they are. They dropped in there. I always count these. Excellence usually uh, can detect these without any problem whatsoever, but uh, today, for some weird reason... As you can see, it is not detecting them. What gives? I don't know. So I do sometimes kind of double check these things. There's probably multiple things that slip under the radar that I don't, I'm not even aware of every single time I do this. Uh, we also have five and a half extra divine orbs for the 11 five-way sets. And then we have six, six uh, awakened exceptional support gems that are right here. Of course, I was able to do a full round of those. I am going to, uh, in the gambling portion, be... Uh, double corrupting a few body armors this time. Going a little bit higher on the stakes with the double corruptions than usual. Yeah. So that is where we're at. Let's break it down. 24, 505, divided by 200. That's how many divine orbs were found. And we're going to add 2.5 plus 5.5 plus 6. And then we're going to take this divided by seven. This is about seven hours uh, to do this farm in total. You know, not counting sleeping and all that. Uh, and wow, what do you know? Almost 19 divines an hour. That's actually pretty crazy. Now, part of me thinks I got kind of lucky, but I definitely didn't get lucky when it came to patient cards and uh, raw maps. I mean, th those were highly consistent. But, you know, I mean... It's not that lucky to get 34 Divine Orbs. I mean, what normal amount of luck would have maybe been 25 Divine Orbs or something. Uh, so, my goodness. Uh, that's 19.5 divs per hour. Div, div per hour. <laughs> uh, oops. I forgot to write this number in. Yeah, I don't really care about the gross. Yeah, 25. Oh. And then plus 57. Okay, that's uh, all the numbers. More impressive than I thought. Definitely, uh, definitely more impressive than I thought. Now, here's an interesting thing. Uh, some people were suggesting because there were there was there was some evidence out there that people would be pay willing to pay maybe up to 15 chaos per eight mod corrupted map. I, I don't know how if that would really fly, fly over very well. But uh, <laughs> let's just find out. If that's how you calculate this, let's just see how much currency per hour that, that would be. Uh, so we got to add, how, how many maps was it again? Yeah, shoot. Kind of needlessly adding time here. Uh, let's see, that's... I know I know it would be an interesting calculation though, so we're going to do this. 677 plus 42 plus the 50 that I ran, pulled from it. Uh, okay, and we're going to take that times um, We'll take it times 10 Because that that would represent 10 extra chaos per each one of those maps Well, I would take this Divided by 200 and that that is The amount of extra divine orbs that would be just by calculating these maps as worth 14.61 or sorry what is it you know 14.27 chaos instead of 4.27 chaos gives me an extra 38 divine orbs so you take that plus 136.53 which is the net you take that divided by seven and suddenly i'm looking at 25 divines an hour if that's how i were to calculate it but i mean that's not really how i see it personally uh again based on the justification that i gave earlier uh, so I'm going to call this uh, 20 divines an hour, <laughs> basically. Yeah. Okay. And then you know what's next? The gambling portion. That's next. Lunaris at the entrance? I don't know. 
Hey, I went up. But not really. Lunaris at the entrance. I'll go I'll go back and check. <laughs> it didn't even occur to me that I'd get a god touch down here. What? I sold those gloves by the way. I, I hit elemental weakness gloves with some other junk enchant I, they sold for like twenty seven divines. These gloves. I'm just hitting elemental weakness. It's freaking crazy. Was it a blue boomerang? Let's go find out. Lunaris. Oh. My man. If I could give you that divine orb, I'd do it. I... <laughs> Yeah, you, you're the man. I, I'm not even looking at the screen on this part of the map. I'm not even looking at it. Apparently, I'm so lucky I find God-Touched Rares in the Temple Chronicle gamble portion while I'm simultaneously sending Awakened Enhanced Support up to 5. Isn't that something? That's just great. LOL. <laughs> uh, <good. laughs> I don't know how you saw that. I don't know. Hey everyone, we're back. Gambling results. There were only like 110 stack decks. Probably wasn't gonna get anything good. Uh, but was what was probably going to happen is I was probably going to make a lot, a bunch of uh, gems go up a level, right? However, today, today is a sad day. Awaken Enhanced Support, level 423. Quality up. 24, 23, quality up. 24, 23, quality up. 3, 23, quality up. <laughs> and 320. So, 3 down, 3 the same. If quality was level, I would have 4 up <laughs> for this thing. So, wow. Well, the streamer plot armor has chinked, I guess. Not bad luck. Oh, we're not done yet. I, I did get one item. I did get one pretty good item here. So, uh, the Garakon's Flight. Double cropped it into a pretty nice, uh, nice one here. Uh, perfect suppressed spell damage roll combined with max endurance charges. I don't know. Um, obviously I think the best would probably be movement speed, but these are pretty good. Uh, enchants on the boots. They're, they're pretty desirable. So anyone who wants to use these boots would be, you know, almost drooling at these, I think. Uh, I project maybe five to ten divines for these. Uh, you know, not a huge deal, but yeah, something. Chavrons was saved with the white sockets. Everything else poofed or bricked. And that's it. That's how it is. My mana is gone. So, it is time for final thoughts. Final thoughts? Uh, this strategy is very good. <laughs> very useful. It's even more useful than it is good. Uh, my gosh, to walk away with uh, almost over, to over 700 maps uh, means that I, I run 100 maps on the Colonnade and I get to run like 600 maps on Jungle Valley. That, that makes me feel good. I like knowing that I can do that. Uh, slightly unfortunate that they have no quality, but, you know, there is a sextant that's called qual uh, Map Has 20% Quality. Automatically put it on there. I actually like that sextant, so I've been running it a little bit lately. So there's a little sneak preview to um, a slight variation to my Jungle Valley Speed Farming Strat. Uh, it works nice, you know, doing it that way. But uh, anyway, another major... Epiphany that a lot of uh, viewers in the live stream were half were undergoing is the fact that this is not a magic find dependent strategy. Okay, map drops are completely unaffected by magic find. Patient cards by the majority of where they're sourced from on this farm, almost completely unaffected by magic find, including quantity on gear. Uh, if I had ran this strategy with like zero magic find. I would have still found the same number of maps, and instead of finding 103 patient cards, maybe I find 90. Okay, I mean, that, that's kind of the difference there. Um, another person said in the stream, kind of put things in perspective. Well, if I do this strategy, if I run 
a hundred of these maps five times, I have a headhunter. <laughs> well, that's pretty nice too. So you obviously can't self-sustain the scarabs and the sextants, but you can easily self-sustain the maps and work your way to a headhunter if you want. This strategy, totally doable with the soul thirst, uh, especially if you had the omniscience to power there. Uh, wandering path, of course, uh, creates some issues. Uh, maybe a replica headhunter uh, would, would fare well with the strategy. You can work up to headhunter with uh, starting with a replica headhunter, perhaps. Um, but yeah. We're going to be moving forward to Jungle Valley after this. I'm probably going to do maybe one more, just revisit the uh, God Touch Farming strat I've been doing to show people, you know, slight variation. I think the primary motivation for me doing it again in a 100 map setup on stream will be for all the people who are highly skeptical about the RNG, how often I'm finding God Touch Rares. Once again, you know, I found one God Touch Rare on every 10 maps on average here. Uh, it seems to be similar whenever I do the speed farming strategy. I uh, just run the maps way faster with much less uh, investment cost than what you saw here. And as a result, we're looking at something like 20 to 30 divines an hour on that strategy, I think. Uh, on average, but I'm totally happy to run it again on stream, kind of showcase what it is, you know, all I can do is just keep doing these runs, and hopefully people come around, realize that uh, it works, <laughs> it works. Uh, so with that, if you have any comments, please put them in the comment section, the questions, uh, we've got a Discord now, if you weren't aware, we got, uh, I got my filters down, the insanely strict filter that I was running with today. That is in the description as well. You can check out the POB profile. I mean, my the number of links that I have in my descriptions is growing quite a bit. <laughs> it's getting a little bit out of hand, actually. I uh, hope you enjoyed the highlights. They were long and plenty because it was a good run. And hopefully I didn't forget to say anything else because that's all I got. That's all I got right now. Had fun chatting with the, with the, uh, with the group. All the people on live Twitch, you can come by, chat. It's looking a little bit quiet here recently <laughs> out in the streaming world. So give the 8-mod corrupted map sexton a try. And you'll be pleasantly surprised. A lot of people are already doing it before I've even recorded this. Uh, they're giving similar stats. One patient per map. Six, seven, eight maps per map. Super reliable. Super consistent. Make... Make pretty make actually really good currency while also self-sustaining for your favorite strategy i'd say that's a pretty good pretty good strat so i'll catch you guys around in the next video thank you for watching yeah.